As the sun rises, workers begin their morning harvest at Raffaldini Vineyards. J. Raffaldini's family started producing Italian wine more than 650 years ago, and now he runs his own vineyard. And the best part is you can get your own taste of this old world experience a short two hours away in Wilkes County, North Carolina. What makes us different from others is just our Italian heritage, our connection, and, and just the, what we're trying to, tr what we're trying to transport you to Italy. That slower time that made us all so much happier. Raffaldini says choosing North Carolina was actually an odd choice. The fertility is absolutely terrible, right? It's the worst piece of property you'd ever want to farm on. That's why we chose it, because generally the grapes like it when they have to struggle. North Carolina land isn't perfect for grapes only, but also for tourists looking for a little escape from everyday life. It's got a very Italian atmosphere to it. It's very relaxing to sit out here, just very, very, very beautiful. In addition to the beauty of the vineyard, visitors can also get the scoop about how to make authentic Italian wine. After the grapes are harvested, they come here to the winery, where the workers say all the magic happens. This magic includes a special process of sorting grapes in a destemmer, checking them by hand for any unwanted products, and dumping them in the fermenter along with a secret powder. For winemaker Kylie Evans, the process is personal. There's something really pleasing and, and fulfilling about taking a product and processing your product and turning it into something else and then having that product available to the marketplace. This production process is helping the industry grow quickly. According to the State Wine and Grape Council, North Carolina ranked seventh for wine production in 2009. To help North Carolina wine stand out even more, Evans aims for one thing in particular. Wines that maintain a sense of elegance on the palate. That's what we really want, sophisticated wines. Emphasizing quality wine isn't important for Raffaldini only, but also North Carolina's economy. The wine industry brought almost $1.3 billion into the state's economy in 2009. Along with quality wine, making a personal connection with visitors is key. Raffaldini considers that to be his legacy. You have to look back and reflect upon your life. Is, did I enjoy these moments? Did I make something special that will outlive me? Because right? my impact is not when I'm here now. My impact is when I'm gone. That's how legacies live on. And that's why I love every day what I do here. Raffaldini says he ultimately hopes to create a love for North Carolina vineyards so that people will enjoy all the beauty they have to offer for generations to come. In Wilkes County, North Carolina, I'm Cassie Scarcia, Carolina Week.